Thank you, President Biden and your co-host for convening this very important summit. Your leadership and support has helped COVAX to protect hundreds of millions of the most vulnerable people and ensure we're ready for future pandemic shocks. So far, COVAX has delivered nearly 1.5 billion doses of vaccine. The vast majority, more than 1.3 billion, have gone to people in the 92 lower income countries that otherwise would have struggled to get them. Now we're entering a new phase of the pandemic. For the first time since it began, supply now exceeds demand. This brings into sharper focus, arguably one of the toughest challenges, turning vaccines into vaccinations for billions of people, particularly those most at risk in some of the most resource poor and difficult to reach places in the world. In many wealthy countries where coverage is high, life is beginning to return to normal, even when cases are again on the rise. But in low income countries, it's a very different story. Despite huge progress with an average coverage of 46% with two doses, many lower income countries, 18 at the last count, have still yet to protect 10% of their population with two doses. These aren't just the last people to be reached, they're some of the hardest to reach, and in terms of future pandemic preparedness, one of our biggest blind spots. That is why COVAX is accelerating its country-centric approach to support countries with low coverage. Thanks to the ongoing support of the international community last month at the Gavi COVAX AMC Summit, we have made important progress not only towards ending this pandemic, but preparing for the next one too and we're encouraged by the continuing commitments made through this important summit. This together with the Vaccine Delivery Partnership will help the countries scale up their delivery systems, increase their absorptive capacity and demand, and provide support to cover ancillary costs for the donated doses so we can get the right vaccines in the right volumes at the right time to those who need them. However, we can only do this if the supply of vaccines continues to flow. That is why COVAX recently launched its pandemic vaccine pool to future-proof its supply. This will ensure that if the need arises for additional coverage, boosters, or perhaps new variant-specific vaccines, that we are ready and can continue to provide countries with the doses they need. Of course, we also need to build a more distributed manufacturing of vaccine supply in all regions, as several distinguished speakers have mentioned. Gavi has a role to play here, as we have ever since we were established in 2000, working closely with donors, manufacturers, and other partners to shape and expand healthy vaccine markets. By ensuring we are prepared for whatever else this pandemic throws at us, it serves as a model for how we can act much more rapidly in response to future pandemics. We now call on others to make commitments and reinforce their political will to stay focused on ending this crisis and to build better health security for the next health crisis, particularly for the most vulnerable. Because if we're not prepared to protect people in all corners of the world, then we're not really prepared at all. Thank you so much.